Breaking news, an investigation into a woman's killing in Waterbury ends with an arrest nearly 30 miles away in West Hartford. Hi, everybody. I'm Darren Kramer. I'm Ann Nyberg. The woman's death wasn't the only crime the suspect was wanted for. News ace Bob Wilson joins us live from West Hartford, where he was taken in. The suspect was taken into custody a short time ago. Bob. Yeah, there were a whole laundry list of crimes, even passed warrants out from across the state. It ended right here on Simsbury Road. You can still kind of see where the truck was just taken away, the car, just minutes ago by the police department heading down to Waterbury. But there are two different scenes in this. Let's go to Waterbury first, where the original crime happened. According to police, about 1 a.m., they found a woman murdered on a driveway. Neighbors called police. They showed up, immediately started a homicide investigation. And from there, they were able to get a description and a description of a car, and they put that out. About 12 hours later, West Hartford Police, Hartford Police were looking for him in this area, and they found the car at Garden Street in Hartford, and then a pursuit began. He didn't want to stop. They tried to pull him over. He kept going into West Hartford, and now take a look at the second scene here where they stopped him in West Hartford after a quite a long a, a, a pursuit. And it wasn't high speed at times. It was, it was more just kind of in and out and around through the neighborhoods. He tossed a gun out, according to witnesses, on Cedric Avenue. The gun fell onto the street. Neighbors saw it there. He kept on going through a school zone. Ended up over here on Simsbury Road. And police say nobody was hurt. No property was damaged. It was a win for everybody, a good stop because nobody got hurt. But a lot of weight goes into making the decision on whether or not to follow them through the area. And the facts and circumstances of, the, of this case were weighed. Um, we ultimately decided that it was in the best interest of our residents, our community, our visitors, to make sure that this person was no longer on the streets and that he was safely and successfully apprehended. Now, they have not released the name of the suspect or the driver of that car yet. We are told that not only was there a the murder warrant out of Waterbury, there was a, a felony warrant out of West Hartford. We believe state police have a warrant for him, as well as Hartford police. And uh, right here, that's where it all ended peacefully as they threw out those stop ticks multiple times to blow the tires off the rims. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in West Hartford, News 8.